guys, John here from LearningGuitarNow.com, and in this podcast, I want to show you how to play a ZZ Top style solo. Uh, it's in the style of Just Got Back From Babies, uh, one of my favorite ZZ Top tunes. Uh, it's in the key of C, and we're going to go through the 12 bars twice, so it's a 24 bar solo. Billy Gibbons has always been one of my uh, favorite uh, blues rock guitarists, and if you're a beginner guitar player getting into blues, uh, this is just an excellent study in learning how to just be very minimal uh, when using a uh, few positions in the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, you can get a lot of mileage uh, from learning some of Billy Gibbons' licks as they're not really that difficult to play, but they just sound really awesome. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first couple licks for free, and if you would like to learn the complete 24-bar solo, as well as have the uh, tab and the backing track, uh, check out the All Access Pass, and uh, when you do become an All Access Pass subscriber, you'll also get access uh, to the rest of the podcast tabs and backing tracks and full lessons from 90 and above, as well as all the courses uh, that I've produced at Learning Guitar Now, including courses on how to play like Eric Clapton, B.B. King, Warren Haynes. Uh, there's just a wealth of information how to play blues and slide guitar. Uh, let's go ahead and start this podcast. Okay, now I'm going to break this solo down for you into 10 separate licks. Once again, this is in the key of C. Uh, we're using all minor chords for the 1, 4, and 5 chords in this 12-bar uh, blues. Uh, C minor, F minor, and G minor. So we're essentially playing a minor blues, key of C. Lick number one sounds like this. Okay, so that's lick number one, and uh, what's happening is right before the, the band comes in, uh, we have a count off, and then we go one, two, three. And on the fourth count, we're striking this note, one, two, three. Hitting that 13th fret on the B string right when the downbeat of the first uh, bar comes in. So we're utilizing the third position of the minor pentatonic scale, and I like using that a lot. Um, Clapton uses that a ton. Uh, I hear Billy Gibbons using that as well. Uh, cool little position, minor pentatonic, uh, third position right here, because you got this. Just gives a different sound. Uh, always think about it as a BB King position, but just change the, uh, the sixth interval and the, uh, uh, the two here to the uh, flat third. So to here, instead of... My, that's major. So that's position uh, starting off with, bending that kind of gradually, then applying a heavy up vibrato on that root note. Uh, Billy Gibbons has an amazing vibrato, so striking that twice. Should have hidden 15, 16 on the B here. It's just a classic uh, blues lick. You hear... Uh, Albert King doing that a lot as well. So after we do that lick, uh, switch into the four chord F minor, and then we're going to the first position minor pentatonic. Doing that little lick. And so, you know, you could do that same thing right here. So same kind of lick. It's harder to play that fifth interval here. You know, eighth fret on the B string. You have to do that. But uh, just a great little position right here, third position pentatonic, move back to the uh, uh, first position minor pentatonic, and essentially does almost the same lick. Except it just sounds different, except we're playing on the B and the high E strings. So that bend, borrow my first finger on the eighth right here, B and the high E string. Then I'm going to bend up 11th fret on the high E string, uh, two frets. And then this cool blues move where I just bend it up, uh, you know, kind of in between that major third you got right there. Not that. In between gradually. And Billy Gibbons and tons of uh, blues players do that. Bend this one up. And then gradually just bend it again, but not quite to the that sound, the F note sound. Then just A11, 8. 
and then hitting it twice. Uh, pretty basic lick. Uh, it's got some cool things to take note of though. Uh, when you're playing over a blues like this, utilizing third position minor pentatonic scale, switching back to the first position minor pentatonic scale, and essentially playing the same type of lick, but if you play in a different place, it'll sound different, and it also gives you kind of another lick. Because a lot of times in the blues stuff, people will play a lick, and you know, play something very similar in a different position. Uh, it has a totally different tone, a totally different sound, and a totally different kind of an attitude. Okay, and that's it for lick one. All right, lick two sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so that is lick number two. And what is happening, we're back over the uh, one chord, the C minor chord, and approaching, going back to the uh, four chord F minor. But we're just going to the 10th fret, I'm sliding in to 10th fret of G string, and then borrowing my first finger on the eighth fret, B, high E, back to B. And then striking this 11th fret here, B string, all first position minor pentatonic scale. Bending that and then walking down the scale, this little pattern here, eight, 11, eight. So just that little move here, eight, 11, eight on the B, 10, eight. Now bend up 10 on the G string, pull off 10 to eight on the G string. And then I'm going to vibrato that 10th fret on the G string. That's also an F note I'm playing over the F uh, minor chord. And you notice a lick like this, you know, we got the beat going one, two, three, four. And we got the hi-hat. If you listen to the drums going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. So you can count it 12, 8, 4, 4, whatever you like to count. Uh, but these little kind of eighth note runs like this. Yeah, like three per beat here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're just kind of mimicking the hi-hat of the drum pattern. And one thing about coming in to uh, lick number two is we're coming in on the upbeat. So we're taking a rest. You had the lick before it got one now coming right in the lick one and vibrato in that 10th fret here on the g string leads to the eighth fret of the g string so it's just really critical to get the timing right if you have that little uh, mute uh, right you hear the downbeat immediately you play the lick have the lick before it one more time one good lick Just a really simple, basic lick, but you gotta play very relaxed and just not strike the strings really hard. We're just kind of laying back on this tune. And a lot of times uh, Billy Gibbons will have that kind of sound where it's just not like, you know, not real intense, but it's just kind of grooving with the beat. So just staying with the groove is a lot about, you know, what uh, Billy Gibbons tries to use in his playing in my mind. Okay, so that's it for like two. Okay, that does it for this lesson. Uh, if you would like to see more lessons like these, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out the All Access Pass if you like the complete lesson as well as the interactive tab and backing track. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.